Good morning everyone. Um, today I want to do an art journal page with all the art by Marlene stuff that I got for my birthday. And we'll do like a beach scene. Why not? I've already gessoed the page. These are the elements that I'm going to use. And let's see. Because I auditioned different lighthouses. And the sentiment is, you are beautiful and perfect. And that's just the way you are. You were perfectly made. So, the paints I'm going to use is, of course, khaki for the sand. Because I tried to go off the blues that was in the water here. And then I have bright blue and parrot blue. For the water because I have them stamped on the top and these two will be good for the water and then for the sky I've just got cool white and China blue so let me remove this and we will get started all right I'll shake this up good let me make sure there we go and I'll use this for the sand. I've made a mark where I need my, my beach and my sand to be. So I'll just put some down because I want it to be watered down. And okay, I hit it with some water because I don't want it to be like crazy permanent or I don't know too thick is the word I'm looking for so I'll just add because I kind of want it a little bit watercolory hmm like that makes any sense and this will be where the sand and I'll add some white to this to give it some variation. And I'll move it back if it gets too far. Let's see. Where's my paper towel? This will work. Because it, with it being gessoed, I can wipe any off that I don't like where it is. I didn't put a paper under here, but that's all right. And yes, I can see my pencil marks, but that's that's all right with me. I'll lift it up and just come along because I'm sure my blue will hide those pencil marks. If it doesn't, well, I'll figure out something else. I'll just go back with some white over it. All right. Let me put that in there. I'll just wipe this up. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of white into the sand. Oops, I got some up here, didn't I? That's all right. Wipe it off. And I'll just wet that with the brush. And just lay that in. Kind of haphazardly so that it looks like it's got some texture. I just have a piece of junk mail underneath. And what are you, a dog here? 
And with the white added, it pretty much hides my pencil mark. I do have some clean off back here. That'll that'll pretty much go away. And I have tissue that I've stamped off on and I'll just clean up my paint with this. All right. There's that. Let me dry this and we'll be right back. Okay, this is dry and I've got a little paint palette from Dollar Tree. I want to add my blues separately. So I'll just put them in. That way I can water them as I need to because it needs to go from light to dark. And that way I have the correct perspective. Let me try and get the any more tan out of my brush because that will just make a really nasty color. Alright, now I'll spritz some water in these and I'll spritz a little water down on here. And we have to go light to dark, so let me put my light in. And I have a horizon line here. Pick up some blue and come to here. I'll add that dark. I'll just I'm gonna hold this down. I'm going to spritz it with water so that it moves on its own. And I'll add more of the bright blue. And I'll just take it and just squeeze it on. Add it throughout here. Spritz a little more. Oh, she's going to go there anyway. I just want the two blues to kind of mix nicely with each other. And move so that I get a better natural looking water. And let me dry this. I'll be right back. All right. Um, I decided to add some white. I do like this here, but I want to add a little bit of white to my edge. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze it out to my brush and 
just lay it in. This is a dry brush. And I'll just put that down there so I can just pick it up. And I'm just going to take it and tap it down on the edge. So that it looks like water sprays and I'll come in here and do that this way. I'll come in here just to give it a little bit of difference like waves in the water. That works. Okay, now I'll dry it. Get to see it before I dry it. some of this I'm just letting some of this paint move see and it creates variation in the water all right now I'll dry it all right, now let's deal with our sky here. I need to lighten this up. So, let's see, I'll come back over here in the palette and I'll lay down some white. I'm not gonna add any water because I need to just lighten this up and I might use my finger to move it And hide those pencil marks. Why not? I mean, I'm not going for absolute real perfection, anything like that. I just want to get it as close to what I want it to be. And then whatever's left on here from the white, I'll just put back down here. Now, I'm going to add the China Blue, which is a very, very light blue. And we'll see how that goes. I might add just a tiny touch of water in one of these to lighten and loosen this up a little bit. And I'll come so that I have my point. I like that. I mean, you see white and blue very, very faintly, but that, I could even take a touch of this and add some water to it just to add a little more in the sky. For a little more definition just so that it looks like it's different same all right move that out of the way and wow let me dry this. Okay, um, this will be the composition I'm going with. I'm trying to seat her where I need her to be with the water. So if I move her over here. 
and bring the little girl down a little bit, but why not? It's just a fun day at the beach. She's collecting shells. Let's glue it down. I will use the Liquitex Basics Matte Fluid Medium. And after I glue this down, I have some Jane Davenport. What are these? Acrylic stamps. I got them on clearance at Michael's. But I might use the Little Starfish. So, yep. Let's get gluing. I'll just take it out of. Now, see, I didn't want to put black lines around this because I didn't want this to stand out more from the water than necessary. Um, but what I will do, though, is take a Faber Castell. Come on now. Pit pen and I'll go around her head. I should just cut her hair out better, but it's fine. And oops, it would be nice if you were in the picture. There. All right, let's just glue down. I just have an old paintbrush. This came with some gelatos. I'm not gonna focus, that's fine. So we'll start with her. And I'll just put it on real quick. I don't have to worry about any thing bleeding out because I used acrylic paints. So let's just put her there and we'll do the little girl. You can use any glue. You can even water down um, Eileen's tacky glue that you get. From Dollar Tree and use that. Let me move her there. And these are on very thin tissue paper. So I will just put it on the back first and I'll pick it up. And I'll just lay some down on here. And just gently get that off my finger. And work my way out. And if there's not enough there, just put some down. I use tissue paper because it ultimately disappears when I lay this down on whatever I'm working on. But you have to be really, really careful. All right, let me lay the little boat down. And the little boat is from the Mint Collection. And all I have to do is look at the back and know what collection who went to what, but the mint collection is, let's see, this one, the boat is right there. And did the little girl come from there? No. So, if you have a couple of collections, let me tell you, you can mix them together because a lot of them are going to have a lot of the same elements, just they look different. So, I wanted a boat. 
I looked at the back of all my collections. Let me put you right about there. And that looks good. I'll just go ahead and put, whoopsie, not you yet. Put this on here. Because that'll go over that and you won't see it. I'll go down the middle so that I can go from the middle out. And not tear it. Yep. I'll even add a little bit of water to my brush to wet the tissue paper. Why not? It'll help make it disappear. And we add some here. We were all made unique. We were all made different. We were all made who we were meant to be, who we are meant to be. Um, it's up to you how you see yourself. If you see yourself beautiful, you'll feel beautiful. You'll be beautiful. If you don't, you need to change how you see yourself. Um, God made us perfect in his eyes. You just have to see that for yourself as well. Now, I'm going to throw some on here and move it all the way up. I know I dipped my brush in there quite a bit, but this stuff dries fast. Matte medium always dries fast. And I'll just... Get off what's on there and just spread it down. Now I will go from the top here over just a little bit because I don't want to hit this ring up here, but I do need this up quite high. And I'll just Brush it down, make sure there's enough matte medium underneath. And I'll move her little seashells down. I'll put the starfish. Boy, they're being stubborn, but that's all right. They'll go down. Wonder if I should put that one over here. No, she's got plenty going on with hers. And I wonder if that works. I mean, I can't get too crazy because that's that's just what I do to myself. Just lay that down and put some matte medium on this on her and make sure I've got everything stuck down good like there's a little piece left in there I'll just mash it down and if I want I can add stuff just by putting Oh, you're just not wanting to stay down on top of the paint, are you? That's all right. We'll fix you. All right. I'm going to dry this. And I'll be right back.
Let me pull you closer so you can get a better look at it. All right, I'll dry it. Okay, now, I can see where the tissue paper is. So, and I really want to tie this in. So let's see what we can do with that. So, I still have a little bit of paint on here. I'm gonna water that down. Oops, sorry about that. So that it is transparent. And I'm just gonna go around it and mask it. And nobody will see it. And it'll blend in much better. I mean, I really shouldn't let it bug me, but oh well. I'm just showing you what you can do. But I also put white down too, so. There you go. And I'll add a little bit of this blue to this just so it's almost like a cornflower blue. I don't understand it, but it's it is fine. It's fine. All right, now do I want to add more starfish? Or we can add stepping stones and we can shade these a different color if we want. Um, you could add texture to them. You could add more. You can do whatever you want. You can add splashes of white. I just give you a jumping off point so that you know what you can do with these. Now, I told you I used the boat from the Mint Collection. And let's see, where the... And did I use any of the Lime Collection? Yes, the little girl is right here, and she's from the Lime Collection. And you can, you can use so many different elements from so many different paper pads, and never stop looking up was the lighthouse and the girl sitting on the beach, and these. So that's three different paper pads that I used. And I could still keep going. Like I said, I could add a pathway of cobblestones for the lighthouse. But then everything gets into super long videos. Um, you can just take some grays and make your cobblestones. You can outline your words. Let me do that, let me dry that, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I'll just take a white paint pen, and I always, I mark this one because this is the one I've been using. Sorry about that. Give it a good shake. can just go around. Oh, do you not want to work today? All right. 
you. And I can just go around it just to give it a little definition. Because it is, it's just an art journal page. You know? And I can give the boat some highlights. There. Um, I don't know, I can give this a little more white so that it doesn't look so dark. There's a ton of things you can do. You can add dots and then tap them down so that they look like waves. I can make this lighter, um, get rid of the shadow. Let me find a brush. show you what I mean. I'll just take a tiny bit from the lid. I'll come in and not get it on her leg, but I'll take away this the darkness of it so that it ties in better. I mean I could go all out and you know just make it as real as possible, but I'm not gonna be that crazy. I could be. Just add a little white in there with it. I mean, there's a million things you can do. Here, just make it a little darker where you want it darker so that it looks different. It's all up to you what you want to do. But there's the page for today. Letting you know that you are beautiful and perfect, no matter what. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.